The year was 1992. As Johnny Carson retired from his 30 years of hosting The Tonight Show on NBC, his top choice to replace him was reportedly David Letterman, host of NBC's Late Night. After a long dispute, comedian Jay Leno got the job instead. Just how pissed off are you? <laughs> David Letterman chose to move to CBS to create The Late Show, which would air in the same 11.35 p.m. time slot. Some felt that Leno had forced Carson into an early retirement, and many bad feelings were left in the wake of this situation. Boy, there was a lot of animosity between me and Dave, and who's going to get it. And, and quite frankly, a, a lot of what I thought, well, good friendships were permanently damaged. Meanwhile, Conan O'Brien, a TV comedy writer, took the reins as host of Late Night. In 2004, when it came time to renegotiate Leno's contract, NBC expressed interest in keeping him as host of The Tonight Show for five more years and then giving the job to O'Brien. Jeff Zucker, the president and CEO of NBC Universal, still wanted to keep Leno at the network as opposed to losing him to a competitor. Thus, The Jay Leno Show premiered in the 10 p.m. time slot in 2009. O'Brien took over The Tonight Show, still airing at 11.35 p.m., and Jimmy Fallon followed with Late Night at 12.35 a.m. In the months that followed, ratings for the NBC Late Night programming dropped to all-time lows, which was especially problematic given Leno's primetime slot. Affiliates voiced their concerns as the Jay Leno show was not doing well as a lead-in to local newscasts, resulting in lower ratings for them as well. In a bid to undo the damage, NBC announced that it would shorten the Jay Leno show to a half-hour format and move it to 11.35 p.m., bumping the rest of the late-night programming back half an hour. The Denver NBC affiliate refused to comment, but some local fans were able to speak. Honestly, I don't think there's any reason for Leno to still be on late night. He's got a warehouse full of over 100 cars. He doesn't need any more money. He doesn't have a family to provide for like Conan does. I don't think that Jay Leno should have left The Tonight Show to begin with because I actually like him, and I don't think Conan is that funny. So it just kind of peeved me when Jay Leno left and created the Jay Leno show and Conan O'Brien took over at The Tonight Show. In response, O'Brien released a statement detailing his disapproval with the move, stating, I sincerely believe that delaying The Tonight Show into the next day to accommodate another comedy program will seriously damage what I consider to be the greatest franchise in the history of broadcasting. The Tonight Show at 12.05 simply isn't The Tonight Show. NBC and I have finally reached a separation agreement. That is true. Yeah. No, I, uh, I knew it was official this morning when NBC dropped off all my CDs and picked up its lava lamp. That's what I knew. After O'Brien's announcement, a wave of fan support followed. Fans organized online to voice their support for O'Brien and disapproval of NBC. The Facebook group called I'm With Coco garnered over 300,000 fans. In a TV Guide poll, 83% of voters picked O'Brien over Leno as their choice for the host in the 11.35 time slot. 88% of related Twitter posts backed O'Brien. The support moved beyond the internet in the form of pro-Conan rallies in Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, and Seattle. I think predominantly young people prefer Conan, and are obviously going to voice their opinions much, much more than uh, any sort of Leno demographic. Several prominent comedians also sided with Conan. C comedians that don't like Jay Leno now, and I'm one of them, is uh, <laughs> we're not like, oh my God, Jay Leno sucks. It's that we're so hurt and disappointed. Conan oh, and I have children. Oh, I'm sorry. All you have to take care of is cars. That's right. I mean, we have lives to lead here. You, you've got $800 million. For God's sakes, leave our shows alone. <laughs> this whole mistake over there at NBC has cost them hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So now the last thing they want to do, they just want Conan to quit and go away and do a show in his basement. That's right. what they want. <laughs> However, not necessarily everyone was on Conan's side. Personally, I just don't think he's funny, and I think he tries too hard. I think you can relate more with what Jay Leno talks about than you can with Conan. In a settlement, O'Brien was given a severance of $32.5 million, his executive producer was given $4.5 million, and his staff was given $7.5 million. O'Brien is able to go to another network in September, but no plans have been announced thus far. I think Conan should definitely stay in television. He's a funny guy. He's a... Uh... Very witty, and he's got a lot of good ideas. Additionally, the characters and recurring sketches created by O'Brien are now the intellectual property of NBC, meaning he will not be able to use them on any potential future shows. 
I'm gonna miss seeing the masturbating bear because the bear was the funniest part of the Conan O'Brien show and really showed his stunning Harvard intellect. <laughs> I'm gonna probably miss Triumph the most because he was funny as f So you're French and Canadian, yes? You're obnoxious and dull. <laughs> Triumph represents kind of our unrestrained id and because I think that deep down all of us just want something to, to poop on. Regardless of what O'Brien does next, it looks like his fans will support him. So to all the people watching, I can never ever Thank you enough for the kindness to me. I'll think about it for the rest of my life.